But yeah, watch how he creeps these uh, these hard camps. He gets his death knight to be uh, stoned by the uh, the rock golem, and he focuses on that first, and he has, uh, and then he takes out the berserkers, which uh, do a lot of damage as well. He got his lich to level two, um, and the skill he chose was frost armor. Um, what tends to happen with the strategy, like. Um, when I do an audio commentary, I like to try out the strategy and see how it works first, and then, uh, and then if it works for me, then I feel it is a legitimate strategy to pass on to other people. Um, so that's why I picked this replay because this is what orcs go a lot of the time, and this is a legitimate solution to that. Um, so, so what happened? So when in the games that I found, and what Fav finds in this game is that what ends up happening is. Both armies kill each other, and you're left with your heroes, and, when, and you're playing hero Dota, right? And your tri-hero is, is superior to his uh, duel or tri-hero. Kui goes tri-hero in this game, but I mean, it would basically the same concept uh, applies to two heroes as well. And um, what happens is Frost Armor aids uh, your tri-hero immensely, like because the Lich always has enough mana to cast one Frost Armor, and that. And they have one blade master, right? So the blade master is going to be focusing one thing, frost armor the one thing. Run your other uh, other run your frost armor unit around while the blade master focuses it, it. And you have got your dark ranger and your lich. Say if it's the death knight being focused, um, hitting on the uh, hitting on the blade master or whatever hero you decide to focus and nuke. And um, dark ranger is an agility hero, does a lot of damage, and uh, it, it's just a very strong tri hero against orc. And it, it's something that they, they kind of don't expect. And uh, and Silence is a very powerful spell. Um, so, yeah. And uh, he also notice he doesn't go destroyers this game. This is key. This, he goes one statue, and the statue is used for mana purposes only to uh, regenerate nukes. This is another key component of the strategy. Um, and it it helps it all work together. <laughs> okay, so um yeah, if if you just watched him creep that camp with two ghouls and gargs, I should have pointed out how he did that, but um it's very key. It, it's very uh notable how Fav creeps his camps. Now he has to TP here, there's no chance he can fight that army with two ghouls and two gargs. And also the fact that um, Fav lost so much in that tier 2 harass means he can't fight Dekui's going expansion, which he just scouted. Unfortunately, this drags the game on longer. Um, if he had had that extra money, I think he would be able to fight right now, but unfortunately not. So uh, he would be able to. He would have been able to cancel the expansion and, and end the game earlier, but um, unfortunately not. <laughs> So he gets gets the orb for the lich. This is like one. This is key against orc, especially in the strategy where he's going to be focusing everything on on uh, Dekui's heroes. Uh, the blade master has a lot of armor, and uh, it really helps to have the minus five on the blade master. Um, so yeah, he's he's got these uh, crypts continuously pumping units. And uh, the fact that he has two allows him to quickly counter, or quickly uh, remass an army of ghouls or, or fiends or whatnot. And you'll see how quickly this blade master is get going down. That's because he's fo uh, Fob's focusing everything on it. He ha he has to uh, dance a little bit with his ghouls, and uh, while well, his his nukes uh, recharge. But um, I mean, this shows how how quickly at the orc can un underestimate it. And even the fact that he had a healing potion and a shadow hunter healing him was not enough to stop the f um, Fav from just focusing down the the heroes with just his ghouls and uh, and and Death Island Lich. Also, key is the statue um, sitting there and healing your uh, your hero's mana. Yeah, so he managed to kill two out of three heroes. That's that's pretty good. Um, at this point, if he had lost that battle, uh, it would it would pretty much be game. Uh, Dekui would have hit the expansion and stuff. So you want to save your uh, like micro adrenaline or whatever for this uh, 
Seminole Battle or whatever. So um, he's getting fiends to, to counter um, the air army, but just a, a handful of them. Like, uh, well, he has one initially, and then he gets three. Um, you don't really need more than that with this uh, army because what's going to happen is your ghouls are going to be doing all the damage output, and he he's literally forced to focus his wyverns on the ghouls because otherwise his heroes his heroes will uh, will just get nuked nuked to hell. So um, you can web um, just a couple of the wyverns and uh, and uh, focus them with a couple of ghouls. Um, just trying to control their numbers and their positioning, I guess, with web. Um, also, an important thing about going ghouls is it's very time sensitive. You have to be, realize that when you're going ghouls, the longer the game drags on, um, the less chance you have of winning, pretty much. So, Fav does not decide to go creep. He decides to press his advantage, and uh, and now he gets the Dark Ranger. And uh, this battle is going to show how effective um, silence is against Orc. It really is a is an amazing spell, especially um, especially the fact that the Dark Ranger can be uh, death coiled makes it a uh, a very viable uh, third hero. A lot, also a lot of the time, orc users depend on their blade master being able to wind walk, and so they don't stack them with healing potions, invulnerability potions. I mean, some will, but. On a lot of maps, there's only so many shops and stuff that they can get healing potions for their heroes, and you want to be wary of the hero's um, hero's items and uh, and uh, focus the one that doesn't that isn't item stacked. I also wanted in this game to go into the theory of uh, burrow rape. This is like some notes I took, but um. The theory of burrow rape is that um, it's not it's not just like a, a great thing to do because that. I'm not going to say that's not. It's a really good thing to do against Orc. Um, unfortunately, Takui went tier, tier 3, so Fav's Burrow Rape wasn't that effective. But um, if you're just going like classic ghouls to mass destros, this is not what Fav does in this game. But Burrow Rape works because it allows you to switch your units quicker than he can switch his units. Like, the fact that Fav has two crypts and um, and he's killed all of uh, Takui's burrows, assuming he wanted to switch to mass gargs right now, um, Fav, I mean, Dekui would not be able to keep up with production with the mass gargs. So the theory of um, the theory of of Burr rape is to get the orc player on his on his countering toes, as opposed to you. And uh, so that's that's what I wanted to go over in this game. Um, I also like this game because it, it was pretty basic. There were no amazing moves by Fav. It was kind of back and forth. I know Dekui is no no grubby or whatever, but uh, Orc versus Undead is is pretty much like all Orcs are competent players against Undead players. Um, so you want to Frost Armor the, the hero that's focus first. That's normally the Lich, because the Lich is amazing against uh, air. And uh, unfortunately, he's in a really bad position, so so he's gonna have to TP. But um, and he he's bleeding ghouls, right? But the fact that um. He has these two crypts continuously pumping ghouls, means that his army is not. He doesn't have no army right now, and this is a very key p component of the strategy. The fact that he can um, match production with the orc is uh, is 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 his vital link to survival.